do you think you will get a full time job in your area of study might be not sure i have no idea no idea yeah. yes yeah hopefully yes yes it's possible yes my name is pranav and i am from india so obviously we all know uh, we indians uh, have the technical skill but what people in the uk look at is they also look for soft skills most people here struggle to even speak basic english this is something which helps you get outcome don't be shy don't think what other person will say i thought you know if i thought that what will these guys say this old man you know why is he coming and bothering us i would have never learned from you guys do let me know if i can be of any help to you because i'm meeting so many people there might be guys you might want to get in touch with who could probably you know help you out in your job search share with you certain things around interviewing so what's your channel name it's called study abroad with piyush you all can uh, subscribe to it and share it with your friends If you are planning to study in the UK, watch the video until the end and subscribe to the channel. So here we have uh, the some of our Indian students playing cricket. Let's uh, let's see if we can talk to some of these guys. Hi guys, I'm Piyush. Pramod. Hi Pramod. Hi. Varsha. Hi Varsha. You guys are uh, from University of Leicester. From? From DMU. Ah, okay. We are from Leicester. Uh, from Leicester. You guys play cricket often here or? Yeah. Uh, every week, once or twice. Every once. Yeah. Nice. I'm actually from uh, from Noida from India. I have a YouTube channel and I travel around the UK interviewing students from different universities. Uh I don't want you to stop stop you guys to stop you can continue playing. Maybe some of you could just do a short uh like a conversation. If you are planning to study in the UK, watch the video until the end and subscribe to the channel. Practice ball. So thank you guys uh thanks for uh, taking a break from the game and uh you know just We've had a good discussion already, but want to understand a little bit from you. Just if you can introduce yourself, where are you from, and uh, what are you studying here? Uh, my name is Pranav, and I am from India, southern part of India, Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu. And uh, I just uh, completed my master's in cloud computing. Cloud computing. Uh, right now, we are searching jobs yeah. for our uh, livelihood. And uh, what are you doing, like part time, right now? Uh, I'm just working in a desert shop. In a desert shop. Yeah. All right. How about you? Yeah, my name is Roshan. Same cloud computing masters at South India Chennai. I work at Morrison's like mm. petrol site. Petrol farm. Yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah. I am Gokul and I am uh, I am from uh, Coimbatore, Tamil Nadu, and I am uh, currently doing my masters in cloud computing. In cloud computing, you are also doing cloud computing. Yes. Yeah. Hi, Varun Kumar. Uh, I am from Chennai. Uh, I did my masters in uh, cloud computing. Uh, I also work same places. Uh, Ferry work in Morrison's. Morrison's. Hi, I am Harsha Vardhan Murthy. I am from Coimbatore, Tamil Nadu, India, and I do masters in advanced computer science. I work in a restaurant. Hi, good afternoon. My name is Guru Charan. I am from Chennai. I am currently doing my masters in software engineering, um, and I am doing hospitality uh, uh, at race courses around the UK. At race courses? Yeah. Oh wow, that's uh, that's something very. Do, are you interested in? Uh, yeah, it's intriguing. Uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, it's a uh, you know a typical UK sport where people um, gather around to you know enjoy drinking with people. You know, <laughs> yeah, it's that's part thing. of every every activity. You know, even at the cricket game yesterday. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, uh, what kind of races are these? Like, these are like horse races or car yeah, races? Yeah, basically, it's a typical horse race where you know there are different kind of races where it's you know a flat track races, a race with hurdles. Okay. But basically, yeah, unlike other. Uh, a uh, major sport it's not that complicated to understand right. basically you know bunch of horses run run to race <laughs> yeah. more than more than a race you know just you know the sport is for betting yeah. so people come together to bet and win right. more than betting they just want to you know spend some time with family and friends right. just to you know get away from the busy life that's what i think did you ever make a bet No, no, I can't bet while working. While working, <laughs> even if I can, I wouldn't bet. <laughs> I so. wouldn't bet. You only took a big bet on yourself uh, by coming here to UK. So all of you guys are from uh, mostly from Tamil Nadu uh, and you know different parts of it. But uh, overall, uh, all of you are studying at University of Leicester. Uh, we have your, I think, your department somewhere in behind us. Uh, now tell us uh, quick snapshots. What is the one thing that you really liked about the university? Probably it has good rankings. Yeah. and the standards are well and uh, they have some clearly organized plans in them so they follow accordingly that's why so it's a high rank uh, well organized well designed curriculum yeah um uh, how's the faculty it's good but uh, could be better could be better yeah. what about the faculty could be better the way the students approaching to the faculty it's not as well free like uh, 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 we can't able to directly go there and speak with them instead of that we need to 
wait for a, a couple of weeks or days to uh, get the appointment and it's actually you know like uh, if we got any problems it's it, it might have been get sorted out before meeting them yeah. so yeah that's yeah. the reason uh, that could yeah, have been so the, uh, yeah more better but still uh, the overall the university is well good and they got a nice modules and uh, yeah uh, i would suggest to students who are studying for studying or who are uh, thought to uh, do masters in cloud computing here yeah they can well go here and uh, uh, do their masters right. uh, but yeah overall they can uh, think about other universities as well because uh, most probably they can uh, study with the uh, international students rather than studying with the local peoples here so you so, are saying so one thing which uh, i think we also understood here is that the class is largely made of indian students yeah that's when it. i say largely mostly indian students yeah. so that's what you are mentioning that yes. you know uh most of the students are from india mm -hmm. and is it that most of the students are from south india also or from india there are students from different parts yeah obviously and uh, yeah even though in my uh, classroom like around the uh, uh, 20 to 25 people were exactly from the same same place where i live okay you know so your half your no city has come to, to yeah, study here yeah there is no chance mm -hmm. to speak in english as well so you know like whenever i uh, see them i used to speak with my own language so, so there is good no good that i am not speaking tamil at least you can speak english too yeah, <laughs> yeah. but uh, but you are saying that the one thing which would be better is to have a more diverse class yeah. any other points that you guys would like to share like something positive or something that you think could have been better the one thing i would like here is the diverse culture uh, in the university so there are uh, different people from different ethnicity although the class is homogeneous but overall in the university there are people from different countries yeah so uh, you spend more time with your classmates but you can still find other countries find students other. and get that exposure by you know talking to them in yeah. the university overall yeah it's a new thing to us so what according to you are the skills required uh, to be working in computing software domain uh, in the uk what skills are you targeting to have so what i would say is obviously we all know uh, we indians uh, have the technical skill but what people in the uk look at is they also look for soft skills by soft skill what i mean is the communication skills um after coming here what i uh, felt was initially that most people here struggle to even speak basic english so that's the main thing even if you crack the one or two interviews uh, in some of the rounds you know they test your communication skills like how well you are communicating with each other how simple you can explain stuff they don't need the stuff you you know just by heart from you know internet or books and yeah. just you know um <laughs> putting it out yeah. they just need how simple you can you know uh, explain them like even a school kid elementary kid, uh, kid should understand what you are you know what? trying to say Thanks. so that's one thing i would say even though if you have technical skills uh you said something that some people are getting lucky i wouldn't say it is lucky they have some um particular skill which the you know interviewer looked at and you know um felt interesting and you know right. and felt competitive to select them what i would say is uh, students here should you know uh, really uh work on the communication skill as well you know to get a how about good you job. what skill do you think uh, is required in any skill but uh, have to be strong in fundamentals the basic fundamentals we have to be strong in that we so whatever to... technology that you say that you know your fundamentals should be very strong yeah how about you what do you think uh, the same as he mentioned like uh, rather than uh, looking into the technical skills we need to be more strong in uh, collaborate you uh, with people how they uh, work in the proper it environment so yeah that's it i think uh, rather than looking in the technical skills we need to be uh, uh, improve our soft skills anything you would want to say about cloud computing as in specific yeah we can't uh, say sp uh, we need to develop a specific skill because day to day every uh, every other every other technical uh, technology is uh, updating so we need to update everything so we can't uh, do anything we, uh, we can't master in a specific skill so we need to learn everything and uh, we need to be so you need to have a broad base because we don't know what the employer would yeah, want yes. and also the technology but, is changing uh, but uh, but one thing uh, but we need to be uh, strong in any one of the uh, skills or any one of the technology if we are in strong in any one of the technology we can get uh, job easily so you can say that you know i'm strong in one i know how to be strong in one and then i can replicate that same in other yeah, yes. technologies yeah. what would you say i would say three skills communication technical and financial we should learn these three what about financial that's something new i'm hearing uh like financial you move in here so you have to manage your co uh, living cost so we have to learn that too 
like we have to reduce our budget uh, we, uh, from our incomes like that we have to need so you're saying again also. being part of successful is not to have that stress that money is less so if you are managing your financials very well you yeah. will have a less stress free yeah. mind which you will make you focus more on the job search and the job uh, that you are doing that's i think so so critical and sometimes we don't think about it and uh, being in lesser the cost of living are lower which i think makes all of you guys and you have a great community too you know playing with each other supporting each other keeping each other company uh, so 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 nice to see uh, lastly from your side what skill would you suggest uh, i just agree those points uh, uh, said by them i don't think any other uh, skills we need to develop uh, to get a job what you're saying everyone is mostly covered it uh, but what i understand from you guys is be very good in communication and be able to explain yourself in simple ways number 2 have strong technical skills have a good strong foundation broad but a specialization in one domain which you can call as your own specialization and third manage your financials super well so that you can uh, ensure uh, that there is no financial stress and you are living freely happily and uh, focusing on your life here so uh, thank you guys thank you so much for your time and it was uh, wonderful interacting with you all you crazy crazy cricket fans uh, on and you know uh, i uh, it is lovely meeting you here i just randomly walked to the university and it's good to have found you uh, but thank you uh, what we'll do is we're going to share this video on our youtube channel with all our viewers and uh, if you guys have found this useful understanding about lester about university of lester about computing and software development uh, in the uk then do subscribe to our channel and learn from your fellow mates because i'm going to be interviewing many more such students and sharing their experience with all of you uh, thank you guys do let me know if i can be of any help to you because i'm meeting so many people there might be guys you might want to get in touch with uh, who could probably you know help you out in your job search share with you certain things around interviewing uh, i'm going to be meeting more people in the software domain as i go to edinburgh because there are people who are working in this domain there uh, and uh, happy to connect them with you as well so hopefully this whole project will turn into a community where we can all support each other uh, all international students trying to help each other uh, you know build a better career in the uk so can you find a job in the uk yes yeah? right now. yeah yes 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 yeah hopefully yes yes it's possible yes so now maybe is a become yes when i was you to put uh, yes or no but uh, so i think maybe is more inclined towards positive side uh, but yes i think it will require a lot of effort guys um, try to network with as many people as you can don't be shy in reaching out to people i have around 50 interviews set up i've done cold outreach on linkedin to students like yourself you know just and i'm like here randomly buzzed into your cricket game this is something which helps you get outcome don't be shy don't think what other person will say i thought you know if i thought that what will these guys say this old man you know why is he coming and bothering us i would have never learned from you guys i think just be confident uh, communicate reach out to people that's i think the number one way for getting a job getting referrals getting that trust before you even apply yeah uh, so thank you everyone thank you yeah, so much thank you. yeah have a nice i'll day. let you guys get back to the game yes. <laughs> thank you thank you thank you nice meeting thank you thank you nice meeting you thank you thank you so what's your channel name it's called study abroad with piyush nice to meet you nice to meet you you all can uh, subscribe to it and share it with your friends if you found this useful make sure you like share and subscribe to the channel